Welcome back everybody to week five of our Hispanic Heritage Music Unit. You should have just done your welcome song and now we are going to do our brain break, which is Spanish themed, of course. So here we go. All right. Very good job, guys. Go ahead and have a seat. We're going to breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. Breathe in through our nose, out through our mouth. Place your hand on your heart. You should feel a slow, steady beat, not a fast, steady beat, not a crazy beat, not blah, 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 but we want to da dump, da dump. The dump. So if your heart is racing, breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. One more time. Breathe in through your nose. Breathe out through your mouth. Very good. All right. So today you will learn about Manuel de Fala, our composer who is from Spain. You will learn about another style of music and dance called flamenco. And you will learn the differences and the similarities between flamenco, tango, and mambo. Because remember, we've already learned about tango and mambo. You will learn some traditional and modern Spanish dances. There's a lot of dance today, guys. You will also learn to sing in Spanish and with the correct diction. We've talked about diction. That means you are saying and singing the words correctly. And you will learn about some traditional Spanish stories if we have time. I hope we have time today. But if we don't, guys, it's totally okay. All right, so review, what is Hispanic heritage? You've been doing this for five weeks. By now, if someone says, hey, what's Hispanic heritage? You should be able to say, well, that's a person or a person's family who is from a Spanish country like South America, uh, Mexico, 
Caribbean islands, Cuba, Spain, okay? Native Spanish speaking countries. All right. Do you remember what song we sang last week? Good. Yeah, that is what we sang. And what instruments did we learn about? Yeah, that's right. All right. So this is our composer of the week, Manuel de Fala. All right, Manuel de Fala was born in Cadiz, Spain on November 23rd, 1876, and he died November 14th, 1946. So we're gonna take a virtual field trip, of course, to Spain, because we gotta see where Spain is, right? And let me... Google Earth over here to you. And we will let Google Earth load. Oh, come on, Google Earth, you can do it. It's thinking about it, guys. All right. All right, so it's already got Spain pulled up, but I'm going to pull us out. We going way up and we're going to stop a minute. All right, let's go back over here to America. Doesn't that look familiar? Yeah. All right. So we live here. Okay. Actually, we're somewhere in there. All right. So we live here. We've been traveling to South America and we went to Peru. And we went to Argentina over here. And then last week we went to Cuba, which was right here, really, really close to the United States. But today we're going to go to Cadiz, Spain, if I'm saying that right, which is actually over here in Europe. OK, Have you guys noticed that all the countries we've gone to have been surrounded by water. There's water near them. Isn't that cool? All right, so let's take a look at Cadiz. I see lots of beautiful water. And then I see lots of city, but it is definitely surrounded. There's more water. So it's got lots of water around it, but it is also a city. We see some houses and buildings and streets. So it looks like there's a lot of people that live there. And let's see. I'm just going to wait for it to uh, let me get this out of my way, guys. All right. So here we are. That's Spain. All right, I'm gonna zoom out some more so you can see where Spain is in relation to us. All right, here we are over here, and Spain is all the way over here. So we would definitely take an airplane unless you wanted to be on a on a boat. And I don't think I want to be on a boat for that long. So you take an airplane all the way over here to Spain, which is in Europe. Okay, so our composer is from Spain, where we just took a little field trip to virtually. And he is a composer and a pianist. That means he plays the piano. You don't usually say they're a piano player. You say they're a pianist. OK, and he began learning the piano from his mom when he was little. And by the age of 13, he started taking professional lessons. He later went to college and studied playing the piano and he um, also knew the first composer we talked about, Isaac Albanez. They knew each other. After college, he started publishing his compositions. Remember, we said a composer makes music for musicians. So he started making music for musicians. And he is known for his Spanish folklore music and flamenco style, which we're going to learn today what flamenco is. So here is, uh oh, I'm coming. I thought I was presenting on the same slide. I think we're frozen. Give me just a minute. We're going to unfreeze here. There we go. All right, so here is an example of one of his songs. And no, that is not him playing, but this is one of the songs that he composed or wrote.
All right. So what was that instrument he was playing? Remember, we learned about it last week. It's the guitar. That's right. And he was playing it in the style of Spanish music. Remember, we talked about you can play different styles on guitar. You could play rock guitar. You could play some kind of other acoustic guitar. But he was playing a Spanish style of guitar, which we'll learn about is flamenco. OK, so flamenco is a traditional Spanish folk music. The oldest record of the dance was in 1774 in Spain. So that's pretty old. OK, and the, the, the word flamenco is thought to be taken from the English word fire which would explain the, the quick steps and the snapping in the dance. But I bet when you were listening to that song, because that song was in the style of flamenco, it sounded quick, didn't it? It sounded snappy. It sounded kind of like a kind of like tango, don't you think? Remember we said tango was very aggressive and snappy and it was like dance battling. So tango and flamenco are kind of similar. OK, and flamenco the style of dance is going to use guitar, sometimes singing, castanets, which are like these little shells that they put on their fingers and they tap them together, and some clapping. So we're going to learn about the flamenco dance, and you're going to get to do some dancing with them. You know what, guys? Let me make that bigger for you. I'm not really sure why that's so tiny. We definitely need that bigger. All right, that's better. Good morning, buenos dias. Buenos dias. Welcome to Pan Performing Arts Network and Ballet Flamenco La Rosa. Today we're going to learn about flamenco music and dance. Flamenco comes from Spain. In Spain, we say hello with a kiss on each cheek. Ah, oh, that's so wonderful. I'm Penny, and these are the Kid Vision VPK kids. And we're here today to find out about what you do. It's a pleasure to meet you all. Thank you. Let's go. Here we are in the dance studio. And you'll notice our floor is made of wood. And that's because we're going to make percussion sounds with our feet and we need them sounding on the wood. Now, when we dance, our body is our instrument. Who knows what an instrument is? A yes. drum. A drum. A guitar. A guitar, that's right. Well, when we dance, our body is our instrument. That's what we use to express what we want to express. It's like our body talks. The first thing we're going to learn is the different parts of our body that we use in flamenco. We make rhythm sounds. So we're also musicians. We're percussion musicians. And the things that we use to make sounds, let's pick up our skirts so we can see our feet, are our feet. We stamp them. Good. Our hands, we clap them. And our fingers, we snap them. Excellent. Now let's learn about clapping. When we do clapping in flamenco, it's called palmas. Can you say that? Palmas. Now there's palmas agudas, loud palmas. And there's palmas sordas, soft palmas. We cup our hands and we bring our fingers together and we, and we hit them like this. Now we can clap on the beat. One, two, three, four. Or we can clap between the beats. One and two and three and four and. We can do one clap, three slaps, one, two, three, and then on our chest two times. One, two. And when we do the claps on our chest, we stick out our chest like we're really, really proud and happy. Pa, pa. Pa, 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 pa. Excellent. That was great. Now let's do the feet. We're going to pick up our skirts, the ruffles, and put them on our hips. And your feet are together. Bend your knees. And we're going to stamp our feet. These are called golpes. Can you say that? Golpe. 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 That's a stamp. And you're going to lift from your knee like you're going to kick yourself in the back and strike the floor. Strong. Good. And again, like you mean it. Now, feet together. Let's count in Spanish. Un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. OK, let's do the stamps and count at the same time. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Good. Now, another way we can do it is just learning it musically. So we're going to say it with our voices. Ba, 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 ba. Now your feet are going to say the same thing. Let's see. Hands here. 
And. And we're gonna turn this way, and we're gonna do six stamps traveling. Ready, go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let go of our skirt, and we're gonna do our hands. Bring your hands in front of you, make fists, and we're gonna make circles, inside circles, and then we circle outside, por fuera, big circles. And then we open our hands and we learn to use our fingers. Little finger, ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger, and thumb, and up. One, two, three, four, five, all your fingers. And circle and do the fingers at the same time. Circle and fingers, one, two, three, four, five. Now we can bring our arms up and foot out and foot in. Keep circling the hands. Our arms go with our feet and together. Foot out, hip out, and moving the fingers out and in. And bring them down and in. Elbows up. One arm and all the fingers and the other arm around. Hip and together, hip and together. See, we did steps with our feet, movements with our hip, we moved our arms and we moved our hands. So we moved many, many parts of our body at the same time. I would like to introduce to you our musician, Paco Fonta. Hello. We're going to talk about the different emotions that we can express in the music and in the dance. And why? Because it's like a sad dance. And what about it feels sad? Because I can see the sad in when you're dancing. What parts of my instrument did I use? Maybe some of it were your feet. Right. What else? Well, what about her idea. face? Because you were closing your eyes. I was closing my eyes. We're going to try something with you interpreting the different feelings. And we're going to do different movements in different emotions. What's a happy birthday time? Party. Birthday party. What about you? What's your happiest time? Um, Christmas. Christmas. Okay. So pretend it's your birthday or Christmas, and you're ready to greet the day. You know what day it is, right? Okay. We're going to stamp our feet in happiness. How about you? Mad. Let's do it. Keep doing it. Mad. I'm so mad. In here, we feel so sad. We're going to lift up our arms. And we're going to look up, and we're going to open our arms, and we're going to think how sad we are. Is there anything you're wondering about? Would you like to ask a question? I wonder how they do that so good. Practice a lot. <laughs> <laughs> Practice a lot. That's how they can do it so well. Is it fun? Because is that it's so much how you want to keep dancing, and then your heart is just as fun as ever that you want to keep dancing, keep dancing forever. Está, lo pasa.
pasas tan bien que quieres siempre bailar sin parar? Siempre, siempre, yes. Yes. Thank you very much. We had a great day. Muchas gracias. I hope you enjoyed the flamenco dancing. I did. It was so much fun. It was. And it... I loved that performance. Thank you so much. The performance is awesome. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 Adios. All right, so I hope you enjoyed that video as much as I did. Did you see how, how flamenco works? It's a lot of body percussion. Percussion means like drum sounds, so like clapping and tapping and stomping. There's a lot of that. And did you see how it's also kind of similar to tango? Remember tango had the man and the woman and they were dance, they were dancing together, but it was kind of like they were battling. Well, flamenco, it had the man and the woman again, and they were kind of battling, but they never touch. They were using their feet to stamp and to clap. So it's similar to tango, but it's still a little different. It uses more like percussion, more drumming sounds. Whereas mambo, which we learned last week, mambo is more free flowing and doesn't always have set dance moves. It's more like a party song, okay? And could you hear the, the, the guitar? how they were playing it in the style of flamenco. It was very quick, okay? All right, so we're gonna learn about an instrument today. It is called the upright bass. Can you say upright bass? Very good. And that's what this guy is holding right here. They are so big, you have to stand up to play them. And so he, this guy is gonna play the upright bass for you right here. Um, in the style of flamenco so it should sound kind of snappy and quick and it should have some percussion some drummingness So could you see that he was plucking the strings because it's a stringed instrument? Could you see them vibrating? That was actually pretty cool. And then he was doing some percussion. He was doing some drumming on his cello. I mean, not cello. I'm sorry. His bass, upright bass. I apologize. Cello looks just like it. It's just smaller. Okay. So now we're going to look at all the instruments we've learned minus the maraca. I couldn't find one with the maraca in it. But every instrument we've learned, the guitar, the accordion, the upright bass, they're all together. And we're just going to listen to a little bit of this song. And I have to skip just a little bit because I wanted to get to the good part. One and close enough. All right. Do you remember what that instrument's called? Oh, you can do it accordion. That's the accordion. These are what right here on both sides of him guitars. That's right. And then this is the instrument we just learned the upright bass. So those are all the instruments minus maracas. I wish I had had some maracas in there that I could share with you. But those are all the, the Spanish instruments that we've learned. So today you're going to learn how to do a fun song that's actually German. 
But over the years, I think because of the accordion, it's kind of grown into a Spanish song and it's called the Funky Chicken Dance. So I said, you know what, let's do the Funky Chicken Dance together. So go ahead and stand up. Make sure you've got some room so you know how to do it. I'm going to show you how. Today we're going to learn how to do the funky chicken. Okay, it's really easy. You're going to go like this and you're going to say, I don't want to be a chicken. Can you do that? Some of you already know how to do this, which is awesome. I don't want to be a chicken. You're going to flap your wings and say, I don't want to be a duck. Can we put them together? I don't want to be a chicken, I don't want to be a duck, and then you're going to kind of do a little twist. I don't want to go quack, 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 quack. Okay, you're going to go, I don't want to go quack, 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 quack. You say it together. I don't want to be a chicken, I don't want to be a duck. I don't want to go quack, 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 quack. I don't want to be a chicken, I don't want to be a duck. I don't want to go quack, 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 quack. I don't want to be a chicken, I don't want to be a duck. I don't want to go quack, 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 quack. I don't want to be a chicken, I don't want to be a duck. I don't want to go quack, 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 quack. Now, usually this other part we do the pause part. Okay, we're going to do the pause part. Okay, you're going to go like this. You're going to go quack, 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 Swing your partner. We don't want to do that. Now, if you don't have a partner, you can just pretend and it goes da 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 all right, so now we're going to do it with the song, so go ahead and stand up.
All right, good job, everybody. So the next thing we're going to do, and I know we're starting to run out of time, okay, is I just want to go through the words to Un Poco Loco, which is our last Coco song we're going to learn. So I want you to point up to the sky and say, what color is the sky? Can you do that? Ready, go. What color is the sky? Then you're going to say, a mi amor, a mi amor. Can you do that? Good, that means I'm my love, my love. So can you put your hand over your heart and say, a mi amor, a mi amor. Ready, go. Good, then you're going to say, you tell me that it's red. Okay, and I want you to make a confused face when you sing that, because what color is the sky? Blue, it's not red. So you're going to make a confused face, and you're going to go, you tell me that it's red. And then you're going to put your hands over your hearts, and you're going to go, a mi amor, a mi amor. All right, can we go back to the beginning? We're going to point up to the sky and say, what color is the sky? And then we're going to put our hands over our heart and go, a mi amor, a mi amor. Then we're going to make our confused face. You tell me that it's red. You put your hands back on your heart. A mi amor, a mi amor. All right, ready? Go. What color is the sky? A mi amor, a mi amor. You tell me that it's red. A mi amor, a mi amor. Then I want you to point to your shoes. And I want you to say, where should I put my shoes? Can you do that? Where should I put my shoes? Hand back on your heart. A mi amor, a mi amor. Good. Then I want you to put your hands on your head and you go, you say, put them on my head. Can you do that? You say, put them on my head. And then hands back over your heart. A mi amor, a mi amor. Very good. Okay. Then we're going to do the you make me un poco loco, okay? And I want you to make the crazy symbol. That's where you you take your fingers and you go in circles right by your ears. You're going to say, you make me un poco loco, un poco de tío de loco. I know that word was really hard. You're going to say, puca de tío. Can you say that with me? Ready, go. Puca de tío, okay? So you're going to say, you make me un poco loco, un poco de tío de loco. All right, can you sing that with me? Ready, go. You make me un poco loco, un poco de tío de loco. Then you're going to say, the way you keep me guessing. And I want you to just take your arms out like, like you're saying, what? And you're going to go, the way you keep me guessing. Then I want you to nod your head. I'm nodding and I'm guessing. Then I want you to count on your fingers. I'll count it as my, and then put your hands together like you're praying, as my blessing. Then you're going to sing that I'm only un poco loco. Okay. All right. I know that was quick, but I wanted to get it so that we can sing it together. And you probably already know this song if you've seen Coco. It's red, I'm your amor, I'm your amor. Where should I put my shoes? I'm your amor, I'm your amor. You say, put them on your hand. I'm your amor, I'm your amor. You make me un poco loco, un poquitito loco. The way you keep me guessing, I'm not in it, I'm guessing. Now tell me that's a blessing, that I'm only un poco loco. <laughs> Very good, and I for, I normally teach you guys how to do a grito where you go, hey, 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 but that's okay. You can add that later on if you happen to go back and watch this video again. 
All right, so we are definitely running out of time, so I will have to skip some stuff, which is so sad. I did not get to go to your story today, so what I will do is if you would like to have your book read to you today, I will post that um, on our page in case you want to look for it. You'll just go to our music class, and if you look on that first page that, that pops up, scroll down, and I'll have that up there for you. So today, your I can statements. I can recall information about Manuel de Fala from Spain. That's our composer. I can explain flamenco and the differences and similarities between flamenco, tango, and mambo. I can dance some traditional and modern Spanish dances. I can sing in Spanish with the correct diction, and I can recall information about traditional Spanish story, which you can do later if you go back and watch it. All right, guys, if you have any questions, let me know. Your assignment this week will be another quiz is. Hopefully you've gotten the hang of the quizzes. Okay, they're pretty easy. Just make sure you click on the link. Put your name in. Please put your first and last name. If you don't put both of them, I don't know who you are. And um, hit start game, answer the questions, and submit. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Have a great week.